Utah Utes travel to Los Angeles to take on the number 13 USC Trojans in prime time, 5 p.m. on ABC. Look, the biggest question for the Utes is who's going to start at quarterback? Obviously, Tyler Huntley is still banged up. Troy Williams pressed it a little bit too much last week at home against Stanford. So now he has to compete for the starting job with Alabama graduate transfer Cooper Bateman. They're going to compete in practice throughout the week. And if Tyler Huntley's not available, we'll see who starts. But it really doesn't matter when you've got a guy like you know who, Darren Carrington, the transfer out of Oregon, who's their leading wide receiver, and according to PFF College, is the number two wide receiver in the Pac-12 Conference. And if they can get the ball to their leading receiver, Darren Carrington, with early and often, what that's going to do is open up things for Zach Moss to be able to work things in the run game and now take the pressure off of whoever's playing quarterback for the Utes. Now, for the USC Trojans, Sam Darnold looked absolutely amazing and looked back to being that number one overall draft pick that everybody's expected when they played last week against Oregon State in 23 of 35, three touchdowns, 316 yards. Look for them, though, to establish the line of scrimmage. And it's going to be easier said than done because Utah had the number one run defense in the conference until they ran into Bryce Love and the Stanford Cardinal last week. So look for them to do everything they can to get Ronald Jones going, which then eases the pressure off of Sam so he can get the ball to Burnett and all those fabulous wide receivers. Once again, PFF College says Burnett is the number one receiver in the Pac-12 and number five national. So he's a big time playmaker for the Trojans. Make sure Utah at USC, prime time, 5 p.m. ABC, don't miss it.